So you know there's not a lot of times where I'm just like, Pokemon, 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 stop, slow down, you need to calm down. And I think the product today is kind of one of those moments. Now, I know some people are going to be excited for this product. I'm just not one of them. But we're still going to open it up today and see if it's worth it. Now, this is the Charizard. And I'm going to bump my camera because it's huge. Super Premium Collection. Kind of zoom out the camera so you guys can get a better look at this huge box. This thing is massive. Now, this box contains... A Charizard card, which is a promo, by the way, SVP. And then you get the 151 Charmander and a 151 Charmillion Cosmo foil. Now, this box, I want to say retails for $79.99. Um, we're going to judge it based off of that value. But do be mindful, and I'll most likely post a link down in the... Uh, down below in the pinned comment where you can find it for under retail because the thing about this box is i know that after it got revealed there was a lot of uh under retails available now i apologize for the noise if you guys can hear this because i'm just strictly recording from my phone been a little bit busy lately so it's been hard for me to take time to record but we're gonna try to get this thing open and i couldn't figure out how to open it so we got one side here. We got this open. Like it's supposed to like rip from the back. It looks like like it's supposed to like rip off like this. Yeah, there it goes. All right, so there we go. I know I had to make a cut because this thing was hard to open. But you see here, we got a Charizard promo. I believe this is a uh, promo 161 or no. Yeah, 161. I think it's the same attacks as the 151 Charizard, but still pretty cool. And then you get your figure. I think this is gonna be the big selling point for most people is the fire figure here. Pretty cool figure, it's very sturdy. I think it's got a better sturdiness than the uh, Hidden Fate Rayquaza that a lot of people would receive broken. Um, I don't think you have a chance of ordering this thing and it really like breaking off may no it feels connected really well so i don't think there'd be any piece that would necessarily break off maybe this flame right here but even then it still feels sturdy enough that if you were to order this product online you would have no worries about it being broken now you do get a, a promo of charizard and then you get your beautiful Charmeleon, which is the 151 Charmeleon with a nice Cosmo foil, beautiful card. And then you get five booster packs that go along with the Charmeleon. Now, I believe this product contains 10 booster packs overall, which is probably my biggest complaint with it, because at that point you're paying almost $30 for the figurine and the promos. And it's kind of hard to determine if that's worth it. Now, I believe that you get two of each of these sets, so Two Stellar, two Temporal, two Twilight, two Paradox, and two Obsidian. So, we're just going to kind of move through these packs pretty quickly and see if we can get anything good. We love to pull some amazing special illustration rares or even some illustration rares today. Just to add to the collection. Now, out of 10 packs, you kind of want to have two hits maybe three preferably four but you just want to make sure to get something so far nothing for our bang twilight masquerade is up next if we get a hit this is probably the sit you want it from because it has that amazing greninja and the amazing um eevee unfortunately nothing out of that pack temporal forces is up next Raging Bolt is a pretty fire card. I believe this is also the set with Prime Catcher, so it's got the best A spec in the game. All right, we got Iron Crown EX Full Art. That's a pretty nice hit. This is a card I did not have, so this is definitely going to go into the personal collection, as well as the Charmeleon. I'll get the Charizard out in a bit. The Charizard's a little bit more challenging to get out of the box. And then last pack out of the Charmeleon side. We'll see who wins today, Charmeleon or Charmander.
This is um, Stellar Crown. And it looks like we just got a Greninja. Who is getting his own Ultra Premium collection in, a few, in the future? Uh, definitely the least exciting of the Premium collections that are coming out, in my opinion. Um, no hate towards Greninja, but uh, an Ultra Premium collection with just a regular old promo is not exciting. So, let's go ahead and get this out of the way. Get our packs and get this plastic out of the way. So we got the Charmander promo, pretty nice, beautiful card. Uh, definitely gonna put a uh, Dragon Shell sleeve on that. And as we're at it, let's go ahead and get this uh, Charizard out of there as well. So that way we can just go ahead and have all of our beautiful promo cards sleeved up. And now five packs remaining. Can we get a beautiful hit? Can Charizard and Charmander bring us the luck? Let's see. Unfortunately, Stellar Crown, we only got the Grand Ninja from. Next is Temporal Forces. Let's get a Raging Bolt. Come on, big hit. Big hitter, no quitter. Unfortunately not. Twilight Masquerade. Let's see if we can get anything good. Unfortunately, that pack did not want to open right. Looks like we at least got a regular old uh, EX. <laughs> Speaking of Greninja, another Greninja EX. So it's like, we're just getting the PlayStation, uh, I'm, PlayStation, Nintendo favorites, the Pokemon favorites, Greninja and Charizard. The only thing that would make it um, feel more along the lines of Nintendo favorites is if we were to pull Pikachu, which I don't think any of these sets have a Pikachu. Uh, I mean, we pulled a rat. That's close enough to a Pikachu, right? Actually, it's a family of mouses. And then Obsidian Flames for our last pack. Can we get some last pack magic? Let's see. Obsidian Flames is a set that uh, I'm still hunting the Ninetales from. And unfortunately, we did not get it. So, for the most part, I don't think we did too bad for our pool rates. Definitely not good pools for any sense of the word. Uh, but you got the three beautiful promos from this set, which are pretty nice. And then you, we ended up getting four hits. Unfortunately, nothing too big, but an Iron Count EX is pretty nice. Now, reviewing this product as a whole, I will say this much. It's a pretty cool product, but it's definitely not something I would spend $79.99 on. Uh, now, if you were to buy this at a discount, let's say you can find it for like $59.99, $54.99, you're a Charizard fan. I think this makes it worth it. I think if you're a Charizard fan, if you're a figure collector, if you have somewhere where you want to put this on display, I think it's worth it. But I think if you are not a fan of Charizard, this is definitely a pass. But I think as a product overall, at MSRP, remember I'm rating off MSRP, it's a five out of 10. At a discounted price, you can get it for $59.99 or less. Uh, I would say it's probably a 7 out of 10, maybe a 6.5 out of 10. It bumps up a few points if you can get it under MSRP. But at the MSRP price, it's like just a mid product. It's not the worst product out there for the price tag, but it's definitely not the best. It is definitely a product that is meant for Charizard fans though. With that being said, guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed the openings. Remember to let me know what you think about this product down in the comment section below. Do you think it's worth the price tag? Now, don't consider the pools when you think of it's worth the price tag. Consider the packs that you can open and the promos and the card, that, I mean, the statue that you get. But uh, pools will always vary. Sometimes people will pull absolute fire from this box. Sometimes people will pull absolutely dog water. So that's not what I rate on. I rate on what the pack selection is, as well as what's inside the box outside of the packs. With that being said, guys, I'll catch you on the next video. Remember to keep it classy and stay awesome.